Hello friends, today we will discuss about lipid peroxidation in disease pathogenesis. We will start with what is lipid peroxidation. Lipid peroxidation is oxidative degradation of lipids. Now how these lipids are degraded? As we know during metabolic processes there is generation of reactive oxygen species. These reactive oxygen species like hydrogen peroxide, superoxide anions and hydroxyl radicals, they start the initiation of lipid peroxidation. Now if we talk about certain factors which are important in lipid peroxidation are pathological conditions like inflammation or inflammatory reactions, diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases and cancers. Here the rate of lipid peroxidation is quite higher in these diseases. The next factor is exposure to genobiotics like consumption of alcohol, cigarette smoking or exposure of heavy metals in workplaces. Environmental pollutants that is air pollution can play a major role in lipid peroxidation and can lead to a lung disease or lung cancer. Now let us discuss about mechanism of lipid peroxidation. As we have discussed earlier, lipid peroxidation is initiated by free radicals like hydrogen peroxide, superoxide anions, hydroxyl radicals which are quite reactive but short lived. They subtract an allylic hydrogen atom from a reactive methylene group of polyunsaturated fatty acids that is PUFA side chain. Now if you see the right side of the video we can see unsaturated lipid in presence of hydroxyl radical gets converted into lipid radical with release of water molecule. This lipid radical in presence of oxygen gets converted into lipid peroxy radical. This lipid peroxy radical accelerates PUFA peroxidation leading to oxidative damage to cell, membrane and lipoproteins. Further, breakdown products of lipid peroxides are melondialdehyde, 4 hydroxyl nonenal, they would serve as an oxidative stress second messengers. And they also act as a biomarker, which are indicator of oxidative stress in the system. We can see that lipid peroxy radicals get converted into lipid hydroxyl radicals as well as this lipid peroxy radical can get converted into the other form like MDA, 4-HNE and 2-alkena. HNE is an electrophilic and reacts with glutathione proteins and DNA which leads to a covalent modification on macromolecules. If we discuss about the effect of lipid peroxidation, the first comes is lipid peroxides. Lipid peroxides stimulate prostaglandin synthesis by activating cyclooxygenase, which are also involved in inflammatory reactions. They control cell proliferation and growth. Epoxy fatty acids, they have effect on hormone secretion reduce cell growth and promote cell differentiation. They inhibit platelets aggregation, block macrophages release, they change the membrane permeability of the macrophages and they block their release into the system. They also block thiol group. Now lipids they maintain structural integrity of cell membrane because they are important component of cell membrane besides protein and carbohydrates. Excessive lipid oxidation alters the physical properties of cell membrane by altering lipid-lipid interactions 
membrane fluidity and permeability ion gradients and decrease in thickness of lipid peroxidation lipid peroxides promote the progression and regulation of lipid peroxidation is also associated with neurodegenerative diseases as brain consumes high oxygen and generate high level of reactive oxygen species during the process of atp synthesis in the mitochondria as central nervous system membrane phospholipids are enriched with ufa lipid peroxidation is very high let us take the example of a dis- neurodegenerative disease alzheimers which is a progressive neurodegenerative de- characterized by the extracellular accumulation of amyloid beta and intracellular accumulation of neurofibrillary tangles composed of tau proteins studies have proved that insertion of amyloid beta into cell membrane is associated with generation of hydrogen peroxides and lipid peroxide as well as its by products like mta now let's discuss about pathology of lipid peroxidation already we have discussed that is accumulation of mda or 4 hne or its derived protein adduct in biological system are toxic and causes tissue injuries role of mda and 4 hne in pathogenesis of these diseases has been learned and some of the examples are alzheimer disease cancer cardiovascular disease diabetes liver diseases parkinson's disease lipid peroxides are an important class of biomolecules generated by oxidative stress in cell though lipid peroxides have been observed in multiple disease state it is often unclear to what extent they initiate disease or are the downstream products of other disease promoting factors thus further research has to be done to study the role of lipid peroxides in disease pathogenesis that's all for today thank you for watching my video for more information on my research do visit my website please share your comments and do subscribe subscribe to my channel thank you